So hello and welcome to Dami Tries This. I hope you brought your kappa. Today's coffee mug is the Hollywood coffee mug that my husband brought home from his trip to California to see his folks last year, I think it was. Nice big coffee mug. Uh, today's tea is the Ahmed tea mixed berries and hibiscus. Um, it's from my September Sips by box. This one uh, looked a bit more like the traditional teas, like more, more like uh, the bags that I get from my stash. So it'll be interesting to see if it's as strong as the other teas that we get. Let's go ahead and give it a taste and see. Get the berry. The berry is in there. It's very light. It's very delicate. I'm thinking this one might have done better with two tea bags. There is a sort of a vanilla type taste to it, which might be the hibiscus. I'm not sure. I've not had too many hibiscus teas. It is very good though. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a light and delicate tea, at least in this coffee mug. Like I said, I might have needed to use two tea bags with this one because it did look a lot like what my stash tea bags look like. But it's a good tea. I am enjoying it. That's a tea that I, I don't know if I would buy that. I'll have to think about it. Um, there are other berry teas that I've received from Sips By that are actually much stronger in their berry flavor. Anyway, so. As you can tell by my face and from the title down below, we're doing another Bright Ladies today. Today is my second one. Don't know how long I'm gonna be doing this. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, so far, people seem to be liking it. Not too many comments, but you know, other things are going pretty well with it. So it's getting about the same kind of views as the unboxings and a few other things that I have. So I'm assuming right now that you guys like it. Um, I'm hoping my lighting, the improved lighting, quote unquote, let's we'll go ahead and put that up a little bit. I'm hoping the improved lighting will help today because uh, when I did my first one, there was no, um, I didn't have the, um, I put up tinfoil, to be honest, I put up tinfoil to help flash the light back to see if that would brighten things up and hopefully that has helped you guys. Uh, today's look will be a little less bright than the last look, which was our kind of a sunsetty kind of look. There's a lot of ways to do a sunset. Uh, today I'm going to be working more in a uh, pink to purple type look. So hopefully this will be something that more ladies will feel comfortable trying. I am going to be using my favorite color from my Urban Decay Urban Palette. I am going to be using my brand new Ursula from um, Winky Lux that I got in my uh, Ipsy bag this month. And I'm going to be using some of my ColourPop. Uh, if you don't have the more expensive um, eyeshadows, I'm sure you can find equivalents in the ColourPop, and the ColourPop are four to five dollars each. Four dollars if you get them um, just the pan, and if you get four of the pan, they will send you a little um, uh, case for them, for all four of them for free. Uh, if you get them for five dollars, you can get them in their own little container. So you can go either way. That is pretty inexpensive for an eyeshadow and I have quite a few in here that I can actually use for this look that I'm thinking about doing. So let's go ahead and get started. I have already used my e.l.f. primer on my face and I've already put on my uh, NYX Gotcha Covered in Alabaster. That is my concealer that I put down as my base. I've already powdered with the RCMA and I've already put my Kryolan on top of that. So we can just go ahead and get started with a big fluffy brush. Going top down, lighter to darker like I always do. And I'm also going to be uh, fast forwarding through the second eye. So just like always, I shouldn't say just like always. I've only done this once or twice, right? Um, so I am starting with my favorite color in this 
Urban Palette, which is flat line. It's a very pale pink. It's a pale shimmery pink. It's a beautiful color. I love it. It's my favorite color in the palette. It's going to be the one color I miss if I when I finally have to get rid of this palette for being too old. I've also done what I can to keep from blinding you from my mirror. Hopefully that'll help. Um, I'm going to try to remember to not put the mirror like that so you can't see what's going on. But at least if something like that happens, we don't have light flashing back into the camera. So let's get started. So I'm putting this right under my brow as I always do with my lighter colors. This is a very light, delicate color. Just kind of, kind of a sheer pink, sheer shimmery pink. I think it's beautiful. Um, probably can't see it much, but it will show when we get the rest of this stuff on. Because that's one thing I've noticed about some of the underbrow colors I use. They're so light that um, sometimes you can't see them when I'm putting them on. But then you put on the other stuff, and there they are. They show up beautifully then. Okay. All right, so that's our first one. And that is the only color I actually had planned to use in here. Although I might dig in for the really dark purple uh, voodoo over here a little later. We'll see what happens. That's a pretty color, too. And we'll fit this look. So we're going to start with this lighter purple in the color pop. Let me see if I could lift, if I put that on the bottom. Oh, I did. This is Fault Line. So I'm going to put that on the inner part, and then I'm going to put this on the outer part of my lid. Pretty standard for the kinds of looks I do. I am using my Luxia, no, my Visanti eyeshadow brush for the fault line. Okay, hopefully that shuffle half. This has just enough sheen to it. It's not really, really light. So it doesn't blend into my skin the way some purples do. And I'm going about, uh, maybe, no, I'm not going mau, but thank you for the input. I'm going about um, between one third and one half on that, on the lid. He wants out. Okay, so next I'm going to take my new Winky Lux color. I really, 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 really want the um, Mermaid Kitten uh, palette that this came from. And I'm using my old Sephora brush. This is small shadow. Probably should have used that on the inside. But it'll be fine. And I'm going to put this on the rest of my lid. Interesting. The color is darker, but um, it's a little more washed out. So let me try a different brush. I'm going to try this nameless brush. It's a flat brush. It's not as floofy as the other one was. We'll see if it does a little better because I've noticed that sometimes people put on particular shadows and they go, this doesn't work. And it just turns out it might have been the brush that was the problem. I learned that with the ColourPop Super Shocks. It's still a bit more sheer than I expected. It's very dark though. It's a dark color, it's just... Hmm. 
I just got this in my Ipsy bag. This is my first time playing with it. I'm having to really pack it on. It's there. Seeing a little bit of fallout. I know, baby. Since I wanted a little bit more rosiness, I'm going to use this color pop in the color double date right here, this lighter pink right here. And I'm going to put it across the middle the way I do to bring out my, um, that shadow. Um, but anyway, to bring out the, the hoods. As for the cats, they're upset because we just recently got something from our um, complex about a leash rule. And while we're sure that it applies only to dogs, I mean, leashing your cats outside, that's a little odd. That's going to need something else to make it a little brighter. So... I'm going to use this one called Let Me Explain over it just to make it a little bit brighter. Anyway, and I've noticed that we've had a distinct lack of strays lately. And they've been talking about, there we go. They've been talking about, uh, you have to have a leash law, any animal, they said a any pets. They didn't say dogs specifically. They said any pets outside without a leash um, will get picked up by the pound. Well, we don't want our babies going to the pound. And I have noticed a lack of strays lately. So, yeah, they're all staying inside now and the boys are not happy. The boys are not happy. Our girls stay inside. They're indoor girls. But our boys, they've been outdoor hats until recently, and they're not happy. Okay, so I practically got rid of the color on the um, outside. So I'm going to put a little bit more of this out there on the outer edge. Try to get this color to show up there a little bit. Still gonna be light, but there we go. It's almost like a halo. I was going back to my mermaid. I hope the rest of the palette isn't that bad because I do intend to buy it. Just the palette is so pretty. And the original kitten that I have is really nice. Okay, next I'm gonna use this darker purple, which is called Crown Jewel for my crease and my outer corner the way I do. So that's this one right here. Doing a little monochromatic almost. We've got the pinks in there, but um, I think I'm gonna throw in some blue in a minute. And this is one of my elf brushes it's one of the circular ones it's probably a blending brush going out towards my corner to create that outer thing that i do this is almost not in the pan, but in practice, this is almost the same color as the um, kitten purple, which is weird.
First thing I'm going to do is brush away some of this fallout. And let me think. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add the blue first. I was going to um, blend, then put in the blue, but I think I'm going to add the blue first. I'm going to use my Alamar detail brush. And that blue, which is right here, is called Two Piece. It's pretty blue. This is also going directly in the crease. It's just not going to go up towards the outside. This is going to stay pretty much in the crease. Just deepen all of this up. May not even show up as blue. I do sometimes do some of my little point so that when I do my eyeliner, it kind of shows up against the eyeliner. And I go in just a little bit on the outer port of my eye just enough to give it a little depth. And I think, let me put it down here too. It's looking a little gray, just a little bit. We'll put another color in there. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to dig back into my Urban Decay for two things. I'm going to use this purple omen to go on the inner corner and across. And I am going to deepen up that blue a little bit more with this one called Prank. You see I'm taking Omen across that blue. It is giving it a slightly lighter, more purpley cast, which is kind of what I want with this look, while being really, really light in the middle. Let's get that prank in place. Just to deepen up right there. See, that's what I wanted to see. That's much darker. There we go. And I have a black in my color pop that I could have used. But, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this up a little bit so the lines are a little less harsh. Don't want to overdo it. You overdo it, it comes, becomes very muddy. You just want to make them work together. That's all. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do the rest of my face off camera, including my lashes and all of that stuff, and then we'll be back. See you in about oh, two seconds. And here's the completed look with all the purples and a little bit more berry on the lips. Nice and berry. I used a little bit of my uh, NYX Strobe of Genius. I mixed the purple and the rose for my highlight. There's the look with everything on it. There you go. Um, obviously, you can 
if you're not that comfortable with uh, doing such dark, bold colors, you can do something a little lighter. Choose lighter colors, do a lighter application. Because I'm on film, I do do a slightly darker application than I would normally do, I think. Um, but yeah, so there's the look. Purples do not need to be frightening. And they are one of my favorite color schemes is purples, really. Anyway, I hope you like what you've seen and that you'll come back again. And I also hope that if you have not subscribed yet, that you will subscribe. And if you subscribe, that you'll hit that notification bell. If you're already one of my notification squad subscribers, you may want to double check your uh, little bell. Um, I have found recently Lord knows how long this is going to last, but I have found recently that I will get a notification and for some reason that bell gets turned off. It's really kind of annoying. I hope you all have a great day. And the next time you do come by, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. The berry flavor is much stronger now. It's also cold and it tastes good cold and I love a tea that can be hot or cold, but that berry flavor is definitely coming through much more strongly, much less vanilla-y this time. Vanilla-y, is that even a word? Anyway, you have a great day.